So in here, we want to begin uh, creating our very own uh, theme from scratch. Okay, so to begin with, let's go to our dashboard here. And in case you don't know how to go to your dashboard, just go in your URL and type the path to your WordPress and put WP admin, WP admin at the end, and you can log in. All right, so now let's go to appearance here and themes because this is where we create our theme. Now, in order to create a theme, we have to go in our folder, the folder that we added the WordPress. And then in there, we look for WP content. That's the folder here. So this is the main folder, WP content, and then themes in there. So there is a list of themes. So always remember that if you have a problem with remembering what functions do what, you can always go in here and check what they did. This is why these files are here for samples so that you can reference them when you need to. So let's create a new folder and we're going to create a uh, theme. I decided to call it Razor Sharp. You can call your theme whatever you want. So just use one word here, don't put spaces uh, because we're trying to copy what they themselves did as WordPress. So there we go. I'm going to leave that be. And then I will drag and drop this folder into my text editor so that I can easily interact with it. Okay, so there Razor Sharp is. Now, in order for a theme to work, you need only two files. So the first one here, I'm going to say new file. Okay, let me make two new files. I'll save this one. The first one you need inside the uh, folder there is style.p. Sorry, style.css. Don't put styles, it's style singular and save it. And the other one is index.php. Okay, there we go. So now that we have these two files, just by having them there, we should have a theme here. So I'm going to refresh this page and wait a second to see if it will show up here. Okay, so we have a new theme called Razor Sharp. Goody. Now you see it has taken the name of the folder as the name of the theme. However, we can change that by going to our style.css and then here we put some comments like this open and close those comments like that and then i want to write theme name like so don't put the semicolons at the end so we'll call it razor sharp like this razor sharp all right so i can put other things like author to name who authored this so put your name there but these are not required just the uh, the name is enough then we can put the version our version is 1.0 because this is the first theme we are making here and then let's add a description here uh, this is a razor sharp theme with sharp edges to for that slick look mm -hmm. you can type whatever you want here and what else is remaining okay so let me save this and wordpress will read this information and display it here so if i now refresh the page i'm having a little trouble with my mouse here so you see now we have razor shop there's a space between here because it's reading from the style.css and then if I click on details, you see that the, the version number, the name, who created it, and a description here. So you can type quite a long description. And if you want, you can add tags as well. Let's say uh, whatever words you want to use, razor sharp, sleek, cool, 
blog, whatever it is. So if I now refresh the page, you'll see the tags somewhere here. So there we go, we have tags. So you can add quite a bit of information. Now, if you don't know the rest of it, all you have to do is go back to themes and go to the other themes here, and then just drag their style.css file and check it out. What have I done? What have I done? Copy there, paste. So you see, this is all you can add here in case you needed it. So just in your own time, just try to add most of this and see what happens. Okay, so once we are done with this, we have a functioning uh, theme, but our theme doesn't have an image here, right? Like the other ones do. So all we have to do to add an image here is to, um, to put a file called screenshot like this one here in the other themes. So a file, a JPEG or a PNG, it doesn't really matter. One of those two will do just fine. So I'm looking for where to get my, uh, my image. So I just want to get a random image from here. I think I'll get this one, copy. So take that file into the razor sharp folder, paste it and change it to screenshot. Now we don't already have a screenshot because we haven't created our uh, theme. So we'll get a screenshot finally, but we just need a placeholder for now. So here we go. If I now refresh, uh, this is how it looks like. So looking at the resolution, I think I could have done better. My image should have been longer going down here. So you can experiment with those images and see which one is okay. So here I will click activate because I want to activate this theme. Okay, cool. So now we have a working theme in our system. So if I now refresh, I get nothing here. Okay, but not to worry, we have to do something in our index page for us to see anything. So if I type this is my index page, let me actually put this in an H1 uh, tag like so, so that it's uh, very visible. I'll save this. This is my index page. So whatever I type in the index page, it's going to appear here. Now, the way WordPress works is that for as long as it doesn't find the page it's looking for, it will load the index page. So which means you can show your entire website on this single page. So the index page is like the go to. If it doesn't find the page it's looking for, index page will be the one to get it. So let's come back here and let's write some actual HTML code. So do HTML here the proper HTML markup, my uh, website, let's do that as a title. And I'll move this inward here. Good God, my mouse is, uh, is terrible. I definitely need a new one. Okay, so once we do that, if I now refresh, you see that I get my uh, title there and uh, wait a minute, I have two of these, I should only have one. There we go, I get my title. But now I want to inspect the source because what I want to do here will involve us not seeing anything here, rather here. Okay, so now the thing to remember in WordPress is that, <coughs> excuse me, we have to avoid putting hard-coded information where possible. So if it's possible to not put hard-coded information, don't put it there. Now, the reason is that if I put this title hard-coded like this and my uh, the person that's using the theme goes to settings here, general settings, and then they change what the blog title is, it's not going to change in here at all because this is a hard-coded value. So because WordPress is meant to be easily manipulated here by people who don't know how to code, 
this is why it's important to not put hard-coded information but to put variables that way when somebody changes something here it updates on the other side as well so there is a function called blog info so let me put some php tags here it's called blog info like this so it's a function so what i want you to do is every time i write a function that is part of wordpress uh, open a separate um, tab here and put that function there so that you remember what it does so blog info has a lot of params you can put here depending on the information you want to get so for example if i want to get the name of this blog or website i'll put name in there if i want a description i'll put a description like so so that's just how it works uh, name and then if you want to know more information about this you can easily go to the developer site of wordpress and then go to the view visit the reference which will open up a page here let's see that one second with this uh okay then i can type blog info like this and it gives me suggestions as well so if i type there and click on blog info then i can see what possible params i can add here so there's name description url char set uh, version etc etc so here we're going to use the char set the description and the name okay uh, the rest of these i don't think we will use at all so let's go back here and let's use blog info and see what we get so we've put the name there so if i now refresh now you see it says my blog this is important because now if somebody edits the my blog here and puts a 2 at the end and then they save it means it will update on the other side so this is why it's important to use variables instead of hard-coded values okay so now that you know what to do there let me show you what we all the other ones that we need for example the chart that you saw it's there on blog info so let's copy exactly what we've done here copy that and put it in here and this one is a uh, char set like this that way it will show us if it's utf8 so nothing changes oh there we go and then there's one we can add in the html tag here so that uh, wordpress will add some extra uh, uh, params in here as well so this one is called language attributes like this okay so this one doesn't take in any parameters so just save these functions somewhere and then you can uh, google them and see what they do so there we go that's what does that but then most importantly we need a description here as well okay so i'm going to copy all this and let's add a meta tag for description now i don't really remember how to do this so just google uh meta tags html meta tags here and i'll get this one for description yeah i've i've never memorized this one because usually the software adds it for me so i'm going to copy that and put it here and then instead of chasset here i want description so description description i have trouble typing this word okay good so now if we come back to here you will see that uh, we have another meta tag with uh, the description just another wordpress site which comes from the general settings right here okay pretty good now these are the small ones now like i mentioned there are hooks in uh, the wordpress site everywhere now there are some that you require to add in your index page and these ones are the following so there's wordpress head like so now these are required so remember that once you save this file you can always just copy and paste it for other projects so this one lets wordpress add its own stuff in the header tag so if i just refresh this you see the difference now if i refresh 
there we go so it has added all this stuff going down here all the uh, the javascript the css files and everything that it needs okay there's another one here called uh, word uh, body class here so that it can add some classes to the body if it needs to so this one is called body underscore class like that okay and if we go back here and this is the body right here if i refresh now you will see some classes on the body itself let me go down there we go some classes here that we didn't add ourselves and then finally there's another one called body open which you add immediately after the body is opened here the body tag so body underscore open like so okay and then finally you add one called wp footer so this is for adding javascript files down there as well okay so this is all we need to add in the index page in terms of what is required okay so all these are the hooks that it requires to add the proper files so if i now refresh i will see more and more content in here uh, like down here on the header or oh, okay so it says fatal error call to undefined function body open okay so i think this one re requires a wordpress at the beginning wp body open let me see if i'm right and uh yeah there we go so it has added its content there okay so so far so good if we come back here you refresh this you see that uh, something has changed we have a new tab at the at the top here which is the admin tab showing that things are working fine okay so that is what is required and uh, i'll see you in the next video